I've known Ryan for about nine months now. Um, we met through our uh, joint and powerful interest in clean energy last summer. Uh, I read this book this past weekend in just under 10 hours. I couldn't put it down. Uh, two sections of kind of five hours a piece amidst a very, very turbulent weekend for me. And uh, it connected with me on a very deep level. Uh, those of you who know me, uh, I'm from Southern West Virginia. Uh, I don't want to make a direct comparison with, with Kibera, but it may be the Kibera of the United States. It's the poorest congressional district in our, in our country, uh, is what I call home. And I've been struggling to find a way to get involved uh, to enact some kind of economic development, some kind of change, uh, some kind of new direction that uh, gets the region out from under the thumb of monopolistic coal barons. Anyone here is involved in the coal industry, I, I probably do mean to offend you, so I won't apologize. <laughs> um, Rye's story, uh, I found I found extremely inspiring. And I, as I said, I've been struggling to find the motivation. Really, it, it's not the way. Uh, I know people there who are struggling to to make life better, and and it's really just been a probably a lack of commitment, a lack of dedication, the time and resources on my part to go and, and, and offer whatever it is that I can. Uh, and reading this book has really renewed my commitment to doing this. Uh, uh, so I'm, I'm going on a 50 mile march there right after I graduate from MIT and uh, in the Kennedy School. Graduate on June 3rd. On June 6th, uh, I'm doing a 50 mile march that's a replication of uh, the march in 1921 where 10,000 striking coal miners were trying to organize the southern coal fields resulted in the bloodiest battle on American soil outside of the Civil War. And a uh, coal company has bought the battlefield and wants to blast it into the coal. Uh, has it be registered for the National Register of Historic Places? So we're replicating that. We're probably going to get arrested. We're going to march 50 miles to the top of this mountain and, uh, and try to get people fired up, try to engage. I mean, it's got to be the youth. It's got to be the people who are going to be there. It's my nieces, it's my nephews who I bought books for, by the way. Uh, I bought four copies of the book now. Uh, a couple of kids back in West Virginia, I think, really need to read it. Um, a filmmaker friend of mine who I think really needs to read it. Uh, this is a powerful story. Uh, I'm sure it's going to touch, touch all of you in some way. Uh, and I really, really, really hope you read it as soon as you can. I don't think you can be able to put it down. And I don't think you're going to be able to not act, to not do after you read it.